Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. Today I'm gonna make an updated video in which I'll show you how to install Windows 11 23H2 on an incompatible computer, a computer that doesn't have TPM 2.0 or secure boot. And I'm gonna show you two different methods, but both methods require that you do a clean install on your computer. So far, there is no method that can help you upgrade using Windows Update with an incompatible computer. But if one appears, of course, I'm gonna make another video about that. So if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about Windows 11 23H2, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video the first method is a method that will help you bypass the tpm 2.0 and secure bit requirements directly from the windows setup basically you just start the windows setup click on next and then install now setup is starting then you click on i don't have a product key then select windows 11 pro and when you click on next you'll notice that we will get the following message this pc cannot run windows 11 this pc doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to install this version of Windows. For more information, visit this website, which will basically show you the minimum requirements for Windows 11. What you can do in this case, just go back to the Windows activation section, and then here, press Shift plus F10 on your keyboard to open up CMD, and in the CMD, type in here, Regedit, basically to open up the registry editor. Then expand HKey local machine, then system, setup, and then right-click on setup, new, and then key, name this key lab config. Basically, you use the same capitals and all the letters exactly as I show you here. You're also going to have everything listed in the article below in the video description and here in the lab config key right click new dewar 32-bit value the first one is bypass tpm check double click on it set the value data to one and another dewar 32-bit value bypass secure but check double click on it validate it to one and then click on ok this is everything that you need to do to bypass tpm and also secure but inside the windows 11 23h2 installation now when you click on i don't have a product key then select windows 11 pro and then click on next you'll notice that you can continue the windows installation process with no issues because now tpm and secure but are no longer required i'm not going to continue the installation process if you want to see the full windows 11 23h2 installation process check out the previous video that i've done about that now let's move on to the second method that you can use to bypass TPM 2.0 and secure but to install Windows 11 23H2 on an unsupported computer. For the next part, we're going to use the tool called Rufus, which will basically allow you to create a bootable USB device using the Windows 11 ISO, and this will automatically allow you to bypass a few things that are required inside the installation. You're going to have the Rufus link in the article below in the video description if you want to get it, but you can just type Rufus on Google and the first result will be the tool that we're using. Just make sure to get the latest version, which in this case is for point three but in your case it could be a newer version now double click on rufus and inside rufus first of all you're going to have to select the device which needs to be an usb device that has at least eight gigabytes of storage then boot selection select of course disk or iso image and then click on select to select the iso image that you have of course if you don't know how to get the windows 11 23 h2 iso you can watch a previous video that i've done in which i showed you how to get windows 11 23 h2 of course on image option select standard windows installation we're going to select like GPT, UFI of course, you can change the volume label, the file system as NTFS, cluster size as default, and then you can click on start. When you click on start, you're gonna get this menu which says Windows user experience and you can customize the Windows installation. You can remove requirement for 4GB plus RAM secure boot and TPM 2.0, you can remove requirement for an online Microsoft account, you can also create a local account with the username which can be customized by you, set regional options to the same values as this user's, disable data location, also disable Disable BitLocker Automatic Device Encryption. Basically, Rufus will allow you to customize the USB bootable device and then you're going to be able to install Windows 11 with no issues. When you click on OK, of course, the USB device will start to be created and then you can use that to clean install Windows 11 23H2 on your computer that is unsupported or incompatible with Windows 11. So these are two methods that work 100% and I've used them before. Please let me know below in the comments what method you think it's easier and what method you've used so far. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like button below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future authors like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.